Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in Las Vegas at the PubCon conference with Aaron Wall of SEO Book, and we've been talking about how to use analytics in some ways that can make you some quick money. Now, a lot of times analytics sounds kind of boring, but uh, you could tell me about some things you did that could make a real difference. What kind of tips do you have? So, so you structure your site to where you know you have the, the home page, categories, subcategories, and then individual listing pages. If you find out that something's selling particularly well, earning a good amount of money through looking at your analytics, and it's you know way down the pyramid, maybe you can move it up the pyramid by linking to it site-wide or featuring it more in a section, drive more link equity, take that, say, like a number five ranking up to number two or number three. Okay. So you, you see something that's, that's working, and you say, how can I make it work better? Uh, yeah, I didn't really realize this was going on. So, right. So how could you change it a little bit to make it, make it perform better? What, what might you do then? So when you, when you work on link building going forward, you can, you can try to build links to that particular page. Um, then within your own site's structure, when you're linking, you know, maybe you put a site-wide link to that page, or you you link to it, you know, from within that section, all across that section. You find related pages on that topic and make sure all of them are pointing okay. links back to it. So you could really boost the the value. So you might be making fifty dollars a week and make three or four hundred dollars a week instead. Yeah, I mean, the search traffic. Uh, how how search traffic is distributed is most of the traffic goes to the top few listings. So if you're towards the bottom, this the first page of search results, and you're and you're getting some pull out of it. There's probably some good upside if you can lift it to the top. Okay. What kind of tool would you use to find that going on in your site? Okay. Well, you would. Uh, you can use like analytics tools like Google Analytics. There's uh, one I install that it's thirty dollars per license called Mint. It's not full featured, but it's it's decent and fast and easy. Um, there's also Get Clicky's nice. And what you do is you just look at your traffic, or or if you're a, a site that sells stuff, you see what items are selling well, okay. and you look right at that. And then you cross-reference those data points with, with your actual rankings. Okay. So see what's going on and try to improve it. What's another tip? So another way to look at that is just the opposite. Let's say you have a big section on your site and you're linking to it site-wide and it's got tons of pages and you make a sale every other year from that section of the site. It, uh, you only have so much page rank, so much link equity in your site. So if you're spending a lot of it on a section that's just not resonating with your audience, Maybe temporarily either depublish that section, or you don't link to it as aggressively, such that more of your link equity is flowing to the rest of the In site. Other words, if it's not working, uh, don't send people to it, and uh, just kind of remove it from from what you're featuring. Yeah, I mean, e either remove it from the the server, or just just kind of don't link to it site wide. Maybe just link to it from the home page or some other section okay. or from the site map. Any more tips that you have to get? kind of quick results from your analytics. Yeah, so when you're looking at your keywords that you're, you're getting inbound traffic on, uh, a lot of times there's common modifiers, like for example, discount or cheap. And if, if you're just incidentally picking these, this traffic up because it just happened to be in your page copy, maybe move some of those modifiers into some of the page titles and see if those rankings go up more and you get a lot more traffic. So you're, you're looking at, say, Google Analytics to see what keywords are bringing in traffic to your site. And, and, mm -hmm. and you start spotting some of these, and you say, gee, I could optimize for that and make some money. Yep, so it, it's basically using your own rankings um, as a way to look into, it's, as, as a keyword tool to look deeper into to some of the modifiers you just may not have thought of, but just naturally were part of the, the text on your page. So then you might add that modifier to a title or a heading or something to just boost it a little bit so it'll get more traffic. Yep, titles, headings, internal link, uh, anchor text, any of those, or, or maybe all of them depending on uh, how well it's working. All right. Well, Aaron, thanks so much for sharing with us. Tell me about your business and what you do. So I run SEO, a company called SEObook.com, and we have an SEO blog, uh, sell an ebook about SEO, and offer an online training program that helps people get more traffic to their sites and, and earn more money from their sites. Great. Thanks so much. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. Thank you.